What scent marking means for cats, decoding feline communication. As cat fans and enthusiasts, we are often amazed by how complicated cats' behaviors and ways of talking to each other are. Scent marking is a behavior that often gets our attention. It's a natural trait that cats have that runs deep. This piece goes into great detail about the interesting behavior of cats marking their territory with their scent. We look at why they do it and try to figure out what it means, how scent marking works automatically. Scent marking is an important way for cats to communicate with each other because it helps them set borders around their territory and share information. Cats, both domestic and wild, do this naturally, which comes from their past as solitary hunters and animals that protected their territory. Why do cats leave marks on the ground? Anna, uh, territorial signaling. With their scent, cats mark their area to show who owns it and set limits. Cats make a scent signature that lets other cats know where their area is and tells them to stay away by releasing pheromones through urine, feces, or glandular secretions. Two, talking to people. Kittens also use scent marking as a way to talk to each other. Cats spread scent from glands on their cheeks and bodies to things, or people when they rub their faces or bodies against them. This action, called head bunting or ala rubbing, helps cats get along better with each other and can show love, familiarity, or submission, throw or position and power. In homes with more than one cat or in the wild, cats may use smell marking to show who is in charge or set the order of things in the group. Cats may leave their scent on noticeable things or places to let other cats know they are there and to show who is boss among cats. Ah, oh, way to relax and feel better. Cats can also feel calmer after scent marking, which can help with stress or worry. Cats feel safe and comfortable when they leave their smell in places they know well, which makes them less likely to fight or be aggressive. How to interpret scent marking behaviors. Figuring out why a cat marks its territory with its smell can tell you a lot about its mood and how it interacts with other cats. Here are some common ways that animals mark their territory with scents and what they mean. Marking the urethra. One common way cats mark their territory is by spraying or urinating on vertical objects. It usually happens when someone feels threatened or when their surroundings changes. It can also be a sign of stress, insecurity, or the need to show who is boss. Marking on the face, head rubbing, also called bunting, is a friendly act that shows membership and social connection. When a cat rubs its face against something or someone, it leaves behind smell from glands on its cheeks. This shows that it knows the person or thing and trusts them. Writing, another way to mark your smell that can be used for more than one thing is to scratch. Cats scratch things to keep their claws in good shape, stretch their muscles, and use glands on the pads of their paws to leave scent marks around their area. Scratching can be a sign of a cat's need to protect its territory, relieve stress, or talk to other cats. Pet grooming and ala grooming. Mutual brushing, also called ala grooming, is a way for cats to connect with each other and talk to each other. Cats share smells and strengthen their social bonds with each other when they groom each other. Ala grooming can show that you trust, want to work together, and feel like you belong taking care of behaviors that leave scent marks. Even though cats naturally mark their territory with their smell, this can be a problem in homes with more than one cat or inside. For managing habits that leave scents, here are some ideas. Make the cat's surroundings more interesting by adding scratching posts, vertical space, hiding places, and interactive toys. This will help the cat satisfy its natural instincts and reduce the need to mark too much. Keep the area clean. Litter boxes, beds, and other surfaces should be cleaned and maintained regularly to get rid of smells and lower the chance of cats marking their territory with urine. Take care of stress and anxiety. Figuring out and dealing with things in a cat's surroundings that cause stress or anxiety, like changes in routine, new pets, or problems with other pets, can help stop marking behaviors. Use man-made pheromones. Products with synthetic pheromones can help make cats feel calmer and stop them from marking their territory when they are stressed. How long can cats remember where the smell was left? Cats have a great sense of smell and can remember smells for a long time. The exact length of time can vary though, based on things like the strength of the smell, the cat's environment, and the cat's own personality. It's not clear how long cats can remember a marked area. But studies show that they may be able to remember smells for weeks, months, or even years. 
Cats need to be able to remember scent-marked places for a number of reasons. Recognition of territories, cats use smell marking to set and keep the lines around their territory. Cats can find their way around by remembering the smells of places they've been before and can spot strangers or changes in their surroundings. Talking to people, marking their territory with scent is another way that cats talk to each other. Cats can smell other people, whether they are in the same social group, looking for a mate, or trying to get their attention. Cats use these smells to help them get along with others and set up social orders. Triggers for memory. Cats can strongly remember things through their sense of smell. Some smells can make you think of certain things or bring back memories, like the scent of prey, your favorite hiding place, or a known friend. Cats have a great sense of smell and can remember smells for a long time. However, their sense of smell isn't perfect and can be affected by many things over time. Changes in the environment, new smells, and personal events can all affect how a cat sees and remembers scent-marked areas. A cat may also lose the ability to remember smells as they get older because of getting older and cognitive loss. Overall, cats can remember scent-marked areas for long periods of time. However, their olfactory memory is only one part of their complex sensory repertoire that helps them find their way around, communicate with other cats, and adjust to new situations in their lives. What other animals in the wild leave smell marks? Stamping their territory with their scent is an activity that many animal species do naturally. It helps animals communicate, find mates, and form social bonds. Other than cats, these are some other animals that use smell marking. Dogs. Like cats, dogs use scent marking to talk to other dogs and set boundaries around their area. They may urinate on things or places to leave their smell and let others know they are there, what their status is, and if they are ready to reproduce. Wolves. Wolves are very social animals that use scent marking to keep their packs together and set boundaries for their area. They use glandular secretions, urine, and feces to mark their area and talk to other members of the pack. Canids, like foxes, coyotes, and jackals. Similar to wolves, canids use urine, feces, and glandular secretions to mark their area and talk to other canids or their kind. Scent marking helps them set up hierarchies of dominance, find possible mates, and keep away competitors. Rodents, mice, rats, and squirrels. A lot of rodents use scent marking to talk to other rodents in their social group, set up areas, and find their way around. They can mark tracks, nests, and food sources by leaving urine or scent gland secretions behind. Mustelids, weasels, ferrets, and otters. Their musky smell comes from special glands near the base of their tails. Mustelids are known for having this scent. They use this scent to mark their territory, talk to other animals in the same species, and scare away possible enemies or competitors. Ungulates, such as deer, antelope, and bison. Ungulates often use scent marking to show who is in charge in their social groups, let others know they are ready to have babies and keep enemies away. When it's time to breed, male ungulates may rub their antlers or horns on trees or other plants to leave smell. Primates, like monkeys and great apes. Primates, especially great apes and monkeys, use scent marking to talk to each other, keep the group together, and mark the edges of their area. They can leave smell on things or other animals by rubbing scent glands on their bodies against them. Birds like raptors, corvids, and game birds. Some bird species mark their territory with their smell, though it's not as noticeable as it is in mammals. Birds of prey, raptors, and corvids may use glandular secretions or preen oil to mark their area, attract mates, or talk to other birds of the same species. In the natural world, these examples show how different types of animals have changed their scent marking habits over time to help them communicate, get along with others, and stay alive. To sum up, scent marking is a complicated and multifaceted habit that is very important for cats to communicate and get along with each other. By learning why cats mark their territory with their smell and figuring out what it means, Cat owners can get closer to their cats and make homes that are comfortable for them and meet their natural needs and instincts. We hope you found what we said useful. As cat experts, it is very important for us to make the world of cats a little more understandable to you. If you find it useful, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you with new content.